Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today uh, we're back with episode three of Boba Fett. I'm so excited. I've been counting down the days ever since last week. Um, I've been like, is it Wednesday yet? Is it Wednesday yet? And finally, here we are. It's Wednesday. I woke up a little bit late today, but um, I am very, very, very excited. Uh, last week we got my favorite bounty hunter, Black Chrysanthemum, and the internet has exploded Twitter and everything like that has just gone crazy. Like, the whole internet is thirsting over my boy, and I'm so happy. I'm so excited to see so many people getting to know who he is and understanding how seriously badass he is. Um, and I'm just very, very happy that the world is just uniting. And I don't think I've seen a single bad comment about him, and that makes me really happy. So I'm excited. Hopefully we get to see more of him. Um, I assume now that uh, Boba has to deal with the Hutt family. Um, I feel like we're going to see more of uh, more of Santi. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm excited. So let's let's see where this goes. Ah! Uh, why? 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 I remember that from the trailer. Oh my god. You didn't save your <laughs> then he shall not be named <laughs> Voldemort the Hutt. With apologies, sir. No one respects you. Ah? I don't see. What do you mean no one respects him? Lord Fortuna was a and he had machine made modify their bodies with droid parts to make themselves even more deadly. I beseech you, Lord Fett. That's terrifying. Speaks of Moses so. God, he's just so badass, just the way he walks, like he's so intimidating. Where'd you get that water? They don't look like the kind of people that chill on Tatooine. Honestly, they look so out of place. Then farm your own water. Then you will work for me. Oh. Your guts will be the earth. So we're hiring Gamorians and we're hiring I don't know. Goth biker oh, no. cyberpunks. Hey, if you want to continue your business on my terms. Oh, oh, oh my god. He's so intimidating. Her little <laughs> cut your prices. Oh damn, look at those bikes. Holy shit. Man, he really is in this Spectre tank a lot, isn't he? Like, I get it, obviously, but he's in it like a lot, a lot. Again, with the with the young Daniel Logan Boba Fett flashbacks, it's just sad. It's just really sad. Like, <sighs> but also being inside that room that he's in looks so comforting. Watching like the storm outside, it looks so nice. Oh, dude, that's such a nice view. Oh, that's so sad stop my feelings i can't handle it oh my god you can be cool but you can't be boba fett riding a bantha with the sunset in the background on tatooine with a gaffy stick cool oh my god this is so beautiful holy crap that is so beautiful like you don't need any dialogue for any of these scenes I could just watch him riding a bantha into the sunset for the entire 50 minutes. Oh man, the stormtrooper helmets. Fuck. <gasps> Is that your woman from Mandalorian? I don't know her. I can't remember her name. I'm sure you understand. I mean, if we can't pay protection to both, just kill the other ones. Easy. Get rid of them. Swear to God, if anyone touches those Tusken Raiders, shit's about to fucking get real. See, this is the content I want. This is the content that I ask for, is just this. This is all I want. No! I swear to God. Please, no. Please, no, please. Don't just make us fall in love with these Tusken Raiders and then get rid of them, please. No! 
No! Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna cry! This music doesn't help either. <laughs> Motherfuckers. I'm crying over Tuscan Raiders! What the fuck? Uh, dude, what the f I'm so upset. Oh, what the hell? Why am I so upset? I never... If you had told me when I started watching Star Wars that I would cry over Tusken Raiders, I would have told you you're crazy. <gasps> Santi! Oh my god! Ah! Ah! My emotions got oh my god! Oh my god! My, 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 my emotions! Oh! Oh! Stop! Oh! Oh! This is a fight I never expected to see! Ah! Oh my god, he is so terrifying! Santi! Santi, no! Honestly, Boba, there's no point. He's been modified. He's crazy. Santi? Santi? Don't you kill my... Stay away, you fucking bitch! Oh! Don't hurt my baby boy! Dude, this is so cool to see, like, we're actually, oh, it's so good to see him and hear him in action. Oh. No! You fucking dare? You fucking dare? Ah! Oh, look at him in his little dressing gown. Come on, Boba. You and Santi were Jabba's best bounty hunters. Like you guys, you guys were besties. Remember? Remember? <gasps> Wait, I have an idea. I have an idea, and I'm gonna say it now, just in case. I'm gonna pause this real quick. This looks like a really fancy dinner. Oh, gross. I'm just gonna say it now, okay? So by the end of this episode, I'm just gonna say it. If by the end of this episode, uh, Chrysanthemum has not been saved and he's still down there, you know who's gonna come for him. So, Chrysanthemum has saved Afra multiple occasions. Uh, spoilers for the Dr. Afra comics for anyone who hasn't read them. There was a point where, uh, Darth Vader, uh, threw Dr. Afra out of the, uh, airlock. And who came to her rescue? Chrysanthemum. They have done jobs together. She owes him money. Uh... And he has saved her. So I have a feeling maybe Afra could come and save him because you know, you know, you know. It's just me getting my hopes up. But anyway, back to the back to the show. I'm sorry. I just had to get that out. I just went through so many emotions. Oh my god. They think Chrysanthemum is dead. And now he's locked up in your dungeon. <laughs> they said his name. I'm sorry. You wait for the twins are here. They have brought a gift. A gift? What kind of gift could they bring? Dude, I feel so sorry for the people that have to carry them. That's the worst job ever. Is that a Rancor? Oh, <gasps> dude, that's what's his face? I know that actor. I can't remember his name though. He's cool. Danny? Is his name Danny something? Another syndicate. They're just chill. They're fine. <gasps> Santi! Oh, damn. I thought Afra was going to come save her. Save him. Damn it. Back to the gladiators. Uh-oh. Wait, that means they can work together. Wait, 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 wait. Boba and Santi can now work together again. Yes! Yes! Uh, Santi was like, the raised eyebrow is what does it for me. 
Oh, his scar as well. <laughs> no hard feelings. <laughs> He's like, are, are, are you sure? Are you, you sure? Uh, uh, bye. I hope to see you again, Santi. I love you. Bye. Why doesn't he fly there? Depressed. <laughs> Mood. Am I a rancor? I, I never thought I'd see this side to Rancor. I never thought I'd see this side to Tuscans. I never thought I'd see Boba petting a Rancor. It's said that the witches of Dathomir even rode them through the forest and fens. What? I want to ride it. He said the witches of Dathomir! This show is doing so many things to me. My two favorite things in Star Wars, Dr. Aphra and Night Sisters. <gasps> Dude. Ah. Oh, seeing Boba's smile is the best thing ever. Look at him. Oh, this is so cute. Dude. Not now, I'm busy. Boba is so happy he's found his new best friend. That's the cutest fucking thing. Is Boba Fett getting excited over petting a Rancor? I'm never getting over this. This is the best show ever. I'm just putting it out there. This is literally the best show. We have seen such... I'll talk about it after, but oh my god. This dude's loving his life. <laughs> now, this is what I call pod racing. What? What is happening? I, I feel like I'm... I'm high or something. This does not feel like Star Wars, but I'm here for it. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! That was the most unexpected thing. Holy shit. That was so cool. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh, is he now? Oh, that, oh, that did not sit well with Boba. Oh yeah, don't let that be over. Already? Already? No! God damn it! Why are the episodes so short? Last week's was fine, this week was so short! No! Ba -dum -bum, ba -dum -bum. I love the music so much. That is so beautiful. That's my new wallpaper. Beautiful. 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 Oh my god. More chrysanthemum. Dude, that's so much chrysanthemum art. I'm. Oh. Do we know who plays chrysanthemum? Because I have been looking at the credits for this week and last week, and I can't seem to see anyone that says that they're chrysanthemum. So if anybody knows who is like in the suit, because I, I want to know who it is. I want to know who plays my my boy. I want to know. Oh man, that episode! That episode was like so many emotions for me in one. So for, to start with, what I was gonna say earlier mid episode was, I love the one thing that I love that this show is doing is it's it's not just kind of skimming over things. It's giving us like an in depth look to to characters and creatures that we previously judged or didn't really get that much of an insight into. So, for the example, the Tusken Raiders, you know, we see them as, oh, you know, not very nice, you know, evil, scary, blah, 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 you know, slay all the men, the women, and the children, you know, kind of stuff. But this, obviously, show has shown us that they are very emotional, like, they're, they're very emotional, and they can be very, very nice, and that you can grow that connection with them and that they are just genuinely really really cool and they're such badass fighters and they learn things quickly and you know we get such a look into how they operate and how they work and how they make their weapons and i love that and then this episode we get a look into the rancors like obviously there wasn't that big of a, a scene but we get to see Boba interacting with this big beast that everyone thinks is, like, so scary. Yeah, it is. It eats people. 
But we, we've we mostly seen it from a, like, a hostile point of view. But this time we saw it just chilling, getting stroked by Boba Fett. And that they're very loving creatures. And I just thought that was really sweet. I love that we're getting such a deep dive into very specific aspects of Star Wars. I absolutely love it. Um, now, the biker gang, I'm into Minds Boy. I think they're really fucking cool. And I love their characters. I love their character designs. It just feels out of place, mostly for Tatooine. I feel like if we saw this on like another like another planet, then it would be fine. But it just looks very strange. I mean, it stands out. I, I'll give them that. And I think they're really cool. It just seems really weird on Tatooine, but I'm here for it. I'm here for these characters, these humans modifying themselves with like droid arms and cybernetic parts. And I think I love that. I think that's really cool. Um, no, I under the main part of the episode for me it was obviously my boy, Chrysanthemum. Um, as I mentioned, he's my favorite bounty hunter, and you can see why. He's a badass Wookiee. He's a badass Wookiee who's not afraid to fight. Um, he uses his claws, he uses his knuckles, um, he has, like, metal inside his hands and stuff, and he's got the cool armor, and he is scary. He is so, so scary. And I am so happy that we got to see him in action and we got to like hear his roars, like his Wookiee roars. And, you know, we got to see, we just, I, we just got to see him. I'm so happy. And I love the, the expression that we see on his face. Like they really show his expression really well. Like in the previous episode, in this episode, he kind of like looks to the side and kind of raises his eyebrow at Boba multiple times. And I'm like, oh. And he still has his scar, which was given to him by the one and only Jesus of Star Wars, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, also, uh, one thing that I did want to add in as well is that I feel like with Black Chrysanthemum, like his action scenes are really, really badass and I just loved seeing him. But he is so much better than that. Like he would easily take someone out like he could with, with the way he was set up he could have easily taken out boba and he went for it but i don't think he planned to kill him i don't think he wanted to because i know he has worked with boba i feel like there was something stopping him from just ripping his arms off ripping his head off like he could have easily done that there was nothing to stop him as soon as he went into that room he should have done that and he would have done that because that's just him um but I feel like there was something there. So I feel like now there's going to be a little bit more respect between them, I hope. And I feel like maybe Boba and Santi will hopefully work together in the future. Um, I, I really, I can really see that happening. Um, so yeah, that's just, that's just a little thing I wanted to add in. And yeah, I that was well, that was awesome. That was really cool. And then we got the little the little the little night sister Easter egg. Holy shit! If that's the only Easter egg we ever get of night sisters, I'll be a little bit upset. But at the same time, we got it. We they don't ever mention the night sisters. It was they had one tiny arc in Clone Wars. We got to see obviously. Uh, we got to see some of the night sisters. Uh, in Fallen Order, we could see Marin and the undead night sisters and Dathomir and all that kind of stuff. But other than that, we don't have a lot of content. So when I heard that uh, that character mention the witches of Dathomir, oh my god, I love that so much. I feel like I'm just being fed. I love Boba Fett. I love the night sisters. I love Dr. Aphra and Black Kersantan. I just feel like this is my show. Like this, out of all of them, is the one that that just like fits me most like yeah i'm excited like yeah sorry my my microphone decided to not work there like yeah i'm excited for um kenobi and to see anakin again and all this kind of stuff but like this one just fits me so well and i'm so happy and i hope you guys are enjoying it too because i am i know there's a lot of people that are like oh but i don't like this and i don't like that me personally, I love it. I love every single aspect of this show. Not a single thing has disappointed me other than the episode lengths, but I'll let it pass. I'll let it pass because there's enough content. It's good enough. The show is very, very good already. Um, as much as I prefer it to be longer, it is what it is. Uh, but I, like I said, hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, I, if you guys want, so I recorded a video, a really short video of my, uh, so I have a shelf above my PC of just my Dr. Aphra collection. 
which isn't very big because there's not a lot of stuff offered. But if you guys want me to show that, I could upload that video. It's just going to be like a three minute video of me showing off my collection just because I, I, I want to. Um, and so if you want that, let me know in the comments. Um, and I will see you guys next week for the next episode. I'm really excited. Make sure you follow me on Twitter because I have started tweeting um a little bit more often now i kind of stayed away from twitter for a while but now my love of star wars has come back and now i'm tweeting just constant thirst about black chrysanthemum um so make sure you follow me there and on instagram as well and uh if you want more star wars content then make sure you subscribe we're almost at 50k oh, that's crazy that is really mind-blowing to me um so thank you guys for supporting me you're go you're all freaking awesome um and i'm i just don't know how you can put up with my screams and my you know weird accent and just me being crazy um i appreciate you guys you're all wonderful um and now i'm rambling because i've got lost in thought yay um but yeah thank you guys for watching um and i'll see you guys in the next video may the force be with you